Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming today. We're hopping into our deck tech with the fourth Munte Romanian division. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. It is free to you and it really helps the channel out a lot. Let's dive right in. So here we are with my balanced fourth Munte deck. I do like this deck on balance. I don't think it works good as a Maverick deck. I will say that. Uh, in a rare, like, you can't really use both ways. I don't find this deck to be Maverick because you don't actually get vehicles and stuff until till phase B. Which can make it really challenging to push hard early. And you want to be able to access all of your armor and stuff. And you have good vehicles. Things. You don't have anything. But it, you just don't get them till B. So I find this deck works better as a Maverick, as a, excuse me, a balanced deck. Although, I mean, yeah, you can definitely Maverick it. I mean, if you really want to push, you, you just have to deal with having no vehicles in Phase A at all. So it definitely can be restrictive in terms of that. But otherwise, this division is actually really solid, in my opinion. It's definitely not a way up there division in terms of tier lists or anything, but I like the way it plays. I like all the Romanian divisions, as I mentioned in a previous video. If you haven't seen that best uh, sub-faction video, go check that out, Minor Faction. So let's dive right in here to what makes the 4th Moonte really great, and that's its Infantry and Recon tab. So in terms of your choices for Infantry, you have basically your Elite Infantry, which are Venatori de Moonte. These guys are really good. They're basically like Panzer Grenadiers for all intents and purposes. They're 30 points. They have two MG34s, eight rifles, and two MP40s. That says 41. Just notice that. Should be MP40. That, I believe they only had MP40s. I I know a, a fair bit about World War II history, and I don't remember there ever being an MP41. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. Anyways, sorry, got distracted. So, you have these Venatory Mutas, uh, then you get these Pioneers. These are great because you get 9 on a card in A, or 15 on a card in B. It's just so many Pioneers, it's really, really good, which is why I'm taking them in A, because then you have these Denuti. Oh, no, I said it right. Detinuti. There we go. 15 man squads with two Molotov cocktails. Now, cocktails got uh, nerfed pretty hard, and they're not nearly as deadly as they used to, but these are still good units. They can still hold a forest pretty well. 15 rifles, even though they're not uh, submachine guns, that's still a lot of rifles to have. And they're the straight pull ones, so they're a little bit stronger than just straight normal ones. They're pretty accurate. They shoot re relatively fast. So I do still find these guys do pretty well in the woods, but I can definitely see you switching out. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the the five-man flavor teens because they just die too quickly i still think these guys last longer and kill better then you have your kind of like um your lower quality infantry here the infanteristi which are basically just like grenadiers or any sort of these 10-man single machine gun squads they're solid 20 points they get the job done they're not, they're not amazing but they can help fill you and uh give you an option other than the 30 point man that you get and then also another thing these guys have raider which makes them a little bit better behind the lines. And then your commander, your leader is uh, like freaking awesome here. He's got a Panzer Shrek, always amazing. A sniper, and then some other stuff I don't care about. He's a leader, he's got radio, tank buster, radio. I mean, this is just a stupidly... I, I usually will bring a leader in A, but I just wanted six really bad because they're so good. So I'm bringing the leader here in B. Super strong, great infantry tab, can really get the job done well. This is where the deck is really obnoxious gotta be honest this deck has the most snipers of any division in the game hands down without a doubt i'm sure someone will be able to point something out but i'm quite confident this is the most you literally have the option to bring in 14 squads of snipers you of course cannot they only give you six slots here but you have 14 cards available basically they give you the option to bring in all of these like of any one unit that you want it's disgusting and these are the best snipers in the game I, there's no question to me. They are the double sniper, five man squad with radio and recon, and they just will stop anything. They're so good. Call two of these in at the beginning in one spot, and you'll be able to kill absolutely any infantry in the game. It feels it feels so dirty. It's so unfair, but it's so fun and really really good. You can see I just have four cards of these. I want as many as possible. I would take another one if I could. Um, Kalarasi. These are also a very good. Sniper Squad. I would not fault anyone for taking this. Uh, maybe one card of it because they can sneak around with their Panzerfaust a little bit. Uh, but, I mean, it ha the double sniper is nuts. These guys are... I would take these in literally any other division. 
but you have so many better sniper options. It's just sniper palooza. It's ridiculous. It's so much fun. And then I'm taking the STK of Zed uh, 250-9 auto cannon car. You can't get it till B. Like I said, this this division phase off. I wouldn't fault anyone for taking it with a a um, veteran C. Although I personally don't really vet my armor cars very often because I they do die a lot, and having a whole bunch of them can be really effective. So I like to have extras to toss around the map. So that's your the, the, this is the highlight of this this deck by far. Now your tank tab is pretty straightforward. It's Panzer Fours, okay, and you can only bring them in B and after. So I'm basically bringing all the Bs. You can bring these dudes in in A. They're absolutely awful. They die in one hit. They have 20 kilometers an hour speed. They have essentially no penetration. Their HE shells do barely any damage. These are really not worth. It. I know you might say, but you could have some vehicles in A. They're only 15 points, I guess. But like, they're not going to get to the battlefield for like two minutes. It's just not worth it, especially when you can just have more Panzer Fours. So, hopping over here into our support tab, you can take two cards of flamethrowers, which I am not actually, which is kind of surprising me. I just couldn't really fit them in. Uh, I'm taking a card of MG34s here. You can take Hotchkisses and other things like that, so that's definitely an option. These Breda support guns are really good. They're basically an AT, a light AT gun. They're very solid. They shoot extremely fast. They can do really well, actually, against infantry as well. These are great little units. I like to take those. Commandant and Supply. Uh, you also have, I mean, flame tanks were buffed i mean i don't know if this is any good i haven't used it but it is slow as crap that's the biggest issue with it it's probably okay otherwise honestly it does have 80 millimeters armor so it's not like a light tank or anything it's the gun can pierce some stuff it's not like it's totally useless but i mean that's there's just no space this the support slots get quite expensive after a bit uh you could take these but you really don't need them you don't you don't have any disheartened infantry we're not taking any of the disheartened infantry these recruit t here they're not worth. They're 20 points, and they're exactly the same as the infantry guys. So it's kind of weird, actually. That the, It's just weird. They should be 15 points or more. You should get more of them. I guess you get a couple more. So, yeah, there's your option in the support tab. Anti-tank. I actually like this anti-tank tab. It's not incredible, but you do get one of the best AT infantry in the game, which is this Venatori Decare. And, you know, Panzer Shrek, that's the whole point. But it also comes with a grenade. And a whole bunch of submachine guns and stuff. So this thing is a very potent close range fighter. So like, you know, when your guy, when your bazookas get caught out at the edge of the forest or something, these guys can actually take care of themselves. And you get a 4-8 curve in terms of their availability, which is really, really good. I mean, it's the same as a Panzer Shrek. Usually these come in at like 3-6 or 2-4, but you're getting the 4-8 curve on these. Super, super good. You should take them all. Um, then... I actually really like these. You'll see in the game, these perform really well for me. It's it's like an up gun like light AT gun. I mean, it's better than your usual with the heat. It's a little bit better than your usual one. It shoots really fast. It's got HE on it, really strong HE actually. 2.2 is quite high for an AT gun AT. Uh, um, excuse me, HE. I really like these actually a lot. Then you get your good old Pack 38s. Great unit. Can kill basically the majority of tanks you need to kill and then of course pack 40s to fill it out uh i don't find these useful these are kind of they're just like i mean yeah i guess it's another vehicle you could bring in in a if you really want to but they only have ap shells and i really don't find they they translate very well once again really slow martyr twos are good but you can only bring them in b and at that point you know i'm bringing in my panzers anyway so then we have just the the the, the AA tab is a little weak, but it, it definitely can get to Dob Dung. You can get mobile wagons and 20 mils, and then you can also get these Vickers 75 mils. I do not like these. They do not perform like 88s. Do not think these are like close to 88s. They're really not. They take more shots to actually suppress things. They're not super duper strong, which is why I don't use them, but they are fine. I mean, you can use them in B, you, you can have them, but I actually think the 20 mils with the Hotchkisses here do a little bit better work especially because you could bring them in for 60 points and you know have them single vetted and stuff and of course mobile wagons are good these are your actual like aa this is this is what you got to rely on make sure you move them artillery tab N not bad not good either i would say i'm bringing in the leader in a because like i said i wanted that leader over here in b because i want lots of those because they're just so good uh 60 millimeter mortars i'm actually bringing in double vet i don't see myself ever bringing in eight of these so the double vet what it really what i'm really focusing on is that increase in fire speed here rate of fire because i really want this to lay down a lot of shots really fast so i do find the double vet does help that gives it four more rounds per minute which can be useful then i'm bringing in a card of 100 mils uh, with they have radio so they're effective you know 80 points the problem is they don't come in with ammo which does suck uh hummels solid 150 millimeter 
artillery, but once again, no ammo. I mean, I, you could even argue into getting a second card of of trucks here, which I do not. I'm taking the chance because I, I don't actually call in a lot of this artillery. It's there for basically when someone decides to already party me and I need some sort of counter battery. These guys can absolutely get the job. These are great counter battery because you can move them all the time. They should never die. They really should never die. And then finally, we have our air tab, and the air tab is very solid. There's nothing terribly wrong with this air tab. You are a little short on fighters. Your fighters are not great. You can get these IR, IAR-81Cs, which are actually okay because they're medium resilience, but they are very slow. You are not going to catch up to anything fast with these. I Instead of taking those, I'm taking basically the fighter bomber variant. Very similar, slightly slower. That's the only difference, and of course, you get the bomb. So that's the only fighter I'm bringing in A. I'm taking a chance only having this in A in terms of fighters. And then I actually do kind of like their napalm plane. It does pretty well. Uh, I find the napalm plane to be better than just like a straight up explosive for the most part. They're only 150 points. You can get two. You can also like do some cheese stuff at the beginning to kind of napalm off a road if you really want to. Bringing in the BF 109 G2s here in B phase, the AT plane, the duck, quack, quack. Okay, you know, a little duck. It's it's okay. It's not great. It's all right. It, it does what you need it to do for the most part. And then a card of heavier bombers here in C. That's a lot of bombs. It kills stuff. I actually kind of wanted the HS in. Couldn't fit it. But this this is an this is a pretty good recon plane. It can actually shoot the ground, although it's not like super good. But it can it can defend itself because it's very good. So you can head on with this and survive. So. That is the fourth Mute on Balance. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Have a fantastic day.